Hi lovely Tauruses and welcome to Simone Speaks. Now um, every single video I do things a little bit differently. Um, I either clear all my cards, I face them all upright, or I shuffle them. But before I even lay out the cards, I just felt like saying right off the bat that a lot of you Tauruses feel um, quite tired. A lot of you uh, Tauruses feel quite overburdened. Um, I'm seeing a lot of focus on career for the month of August. Um, keep in mind this is, okay, these two wanted to come out. Keep in mind um, this video is supposed to be mainly focused on love, but like I said, um, I don't edit any of my videos um, for the sole purpose that when I am um, laying the cards out, messages come, different things can um, appear in my videos, um, and they tend to, and um, I feel the need to do a different kind of spread, um, which is unique, because, you know, sometimes I normally do the Celtic cross spread, or I normally just do a basic romance tarot spread. It just depends on the kind of energy, but I am getting strongly that um, this is like the Four of Summer is like the Four of Swords and the Four of Wands, in my opinion, like in this picture, is kind of a combination of um, career and emotional and I do see some kind of burnout, um, whether you've just got out of burnout, maybe I'm, I'm getting like, maybe like the last couple of days in July, um, things have kind of, kind of, uh, like been too much to carry. Things have kind of over jammed. It's almost like I'm seeing a pipe, almost like from the Finding Nemo movie. And they were trying to escape out of the fish tank and they throw a pebble and they go into the tube and they get stuck and they throw another one and they get stuck. It's like things are just kind of clogged up and jammed right now. Um, I just finished seeing the Gemini video and they got the dreamer a lot too. So I'm getting a lot of like kind of like melancholy, um, Yes, I'm going to say milky, kind of like, you know, very like air, so, you know, very like airy um, energy. I know that you guys are an earth sign, but I am getting a lot of air energy. So you definitely could be talking to Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But right now, as I'm talking, I feel like almost an emotional uh, cleansing. It's like there's so much that you want to achieve. There's so much you want to kind of um, have the dust settled on to fulfill your dreams, to have a great relationship or, you know, a great kind of um, family unit. I'm getting a lot of like family energy too. Like maybe you guys really want to kind of reestablish or rebuild um, a family connection either with a mother or cousin or brother, sister. It's like even uncle for some of you guys, it's like maybe there was some kind of fraction in the past. And I think in August, there's going to be a lot of love vibes, a lot of really nice um, energy um, coming your way in terms of rebuilding and re-putting back um, the structure in family life and talking with family. Now, love is not just romantic love. Love is also family love. Um, mother, you know, to child love. Um, you know, relatives, siblings. Like, love is, is in general. So, I do like that I'm seeing not just a love front on the left side, but on the right side, I'm seeing that you guys really want something to kind of be, um, patched up and fixed. Now, this reading, I'm going to be doing more than one spread in this video. If these videos, if this video does not resonate with you, Taurus, um, any Taurus that's watching, I do mining career videos. Um, we have a solar eclipse on the 21st or 23rd, I believe, of August. I need to clarify that, but it is coming up. Um, we just have a new moon in Leo. I did an all 12 zodiac sign video for that, which was so much fun. Um, there's timestamps of every single sign. So if you want to check out your sun, moon, and rising as well as you know your Venus whatever to kind of cover the kind of um, general transitional energy of this new August month I definitely recommend for you guys to see your money and career but also the 12 um, sign zodiac video that I uploaded because it really kind of gave an overall energy of what the new moon is signifying for all signs. And if you're somebody who is around a lot of family, you have a lot of new friends, you, you know, you like to be around friends, you're very social, you feel you're getting very social, you're getting kind of really, really busy, a little bit overburdened, but nevertheless, you're getting very, very busy. 
and you're starting to see plans come into fruition. You're starting to see exciting things on the way, exciting social events coming up. Um, you know, it's very important to kind of get an overall energy of how everyone around you is feeling so you kind of can not have to feel so overburdened so that you can kind of, um, you know, wipe your face, you know, take a nap, um, kind of reset and to set a, a strong path, a strong direction on how you can keep these relationships better or to improve these relationships like friendships, family, I'm getting, um, so that you don't have to feel like you're drained. You know, every time you go around somebody, you may feel a little bit drained. You may feel like, oh my God, you know, I'm already taking on so much emotional energy. How much more can I possibly take on? And it's saying that, you know, release that, okay? Um, dream, dream of a better, uh, you know, family unit. Okay. Nothing's wrong. I mean, you have the dream, you have two dream cards, you have two dream cards. Okay. These all have to do with dreams. You know, this saying wish is coming is true. This is saying embrace your true purpose, you know, begin a new adventure, treat yourself. So it's saying like, you know, release yourself from the sadness, release yourself from the overburden. Um, you know, the overburdened feelings you have. And I, I do get that in August. Um, it, it's not so much, um, it, a lot of it could be overburdened, but the other half of the overburden that I'm getting from this card is that maybe there's too much um, going on. Or maybe there's too much for some reason. I'm getting too much love energy and it's leaving you uh, like missing the past or missing um, your me time, that's for some of you guys, it's like maybe like you're, you're missing just being like, maybe you're just missing, yeah, you're missing not having your own space, you're missing not having your own time for yourself, and you're upset about it, you want more of this time for yourself, that's for some of you Tauruses, not for all of you, I almost said Gemini, so if you, if a Gemini just popped in your brain, you know a Gemini, um, watch their Gemini love video um, for 1st of August to the 16th because um, that may help you in some way, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put these cards back and I'm going to do a Celtic cross spread for the 1st to the 16th of August and I want to, yeah, so there's definitely going to be, because the first card I just pulled is the Eight of Spring. Um, which is like the eight of wands. So it's all about, you know, kind of an abundance of overworking energy, like too much acceleration on the hard end of where your energy is laying at right now. Um, I'm not going to lie, in August, for you Tauruses, I am feeling a little bit of overwhelming uh, emotions. I am getting that you guys could be getting a little bit burnt out. So I would really watch that. Because, you know, if you don't take care of yourself, who's going to take care of you? You see what I'm saying? Like, if all your energy is is being used for other people, I'm getting a lot of um, wand, wands uh, cards here. So, clearly you guys are now entering a season where maybe more than what you like, because um, you have the hermit crowning you. So... I'm definitely getting that you Tauruses really, really want to escape. You guys want to kind of close in. Um, I do get Scorpio vibes from this card, so you could have dealt with a Scorpio um, presently or in the past that maybe had some kind of emotional effect on you, and maybe this is why for some of you Tauruses you're feeling kind of trapped in, because um, Scorpio and Cancer, they're both, you know, like, they're both, um, they both have shells, okay? So... It's like maybe you can kind of, you're kind of feeling like you're kind of like swindled into this kind of emotional territory that you're not really used to. That's for some of you, Taurus is not for all of you. I almost a Gemini again. So um, a lot of you guys could have, de definitely could have Gemini in your chart. But in your, in your, um, in your immediate future, it's so interesting how we just did a basic four card quick spread. And this is in your immediate future. So once again, it's like, a lot of this energy that you, you that you already have within you, Tauruses, I almost said Aquarius. So you definitely could be with a um, Aquarius Scorpio, Aquarius Scorpio, which is going to be air and water for sure. There's water in the background, see in the card as well. But it definitely feels like a lot of your energy is being dedicated to like having to 
fertilize family relationships, fertilize somebody, somebody you're dating, fertilize old friends, you know, people in your corner. And it seems like you're not really going to like this that much, which is causing you to say, what about me? This is definitely you, Taurus. Okay. This is, this is definitely your energy. I'm getting right here. Okay. Very similar. It's like, you're, you're, you're really saying to yourself, well, what about me? You know, I know what you want, but what about me? What about me getting some rest for once? Maybe in July, it was a hard hitting month for you Tauruses. You know, I'm definitely getting that for a lot of you Tauruses. Um, July definitely could have been a rocky one. It definitely could have been a draining one. Um, but it, but you know, because the hermit is crowning you, this is the card nine. And the bottom is the eight of winter. It's like, obviously, there's going to be some kind of retreat because the foundation is eight and the crowning is nine. Okay, so in your thoughts, in I'm going to also say present moment. Okay, if you're watching this video around the 12th or 10th of August, um, you could definitely be in the situation right now in your present state, even though this isn't card number one, I almost see it like sliding into position one because this is really what you want or this is really what you're in, that you're stuck in. Um, I'm getting for some of you Tauruses, like you really don't think you can kind of help it, you know, because you feel overburdened. You know, you feel like you're two people in one rat race. You know, you definitely feel like you're, you're, you're taking on the family issues. You're taking on co-workers' concerns about budget cuts I'm hearing and, and hirings and firings and it's like you're taking on too much and you're retreating. In August, um, I'm going to go ahead and title this video something to do with hibernation because even, I mean, in all these cards I'm seeing, all I'm getting drawn to is this kind of blue robe around her, regardless of gender. And trees, a lot of trees in the background, you know, trees and leaves and hard, hard kind of different shapes of leaves. And, and, you know, this person standing on a block of, of ice by themselves. I mean, it's like everything has to do with isolation, hibernation, recharging. And, um, I'm getting that for you Tauruses, you know, because this is connecting with you, it's just best that you listen to your body because you don't want to burn out in your hopes and fears you have the star card 17 which is a beautiful card i like i love this card but the energy i get from this card okay this one wants to come out 21 the world oh we got two cards nine of autumn so overall what this is telling me and this dreamer, this dreamer car wanted to come out again. So I know this, this, this makes sense to me. Okay. So what it's really saying to me is that the bottom line is that once you get over this hermit stage, once you kind of pick and choose your battles, pick and choose where you want to place your energy, you want to get back down to business and you will Taurus is I almost a Gemini again. Don't know why I keep saying Gemini, uh, but watch that video for the heck of it because maybe there's going to be some kind of storyline in the Gemini video that helps you. But it's it's really like I'm getting like, after this, do not worry. You'll bounce back. You'll bounce back and you'll be back on your bullshit, okay? I don't know why I just said bullshit, but it's like, whatever you're doing that is like draining your energy, it's like, you're going to have to get back in the ring. You know, I'm almost seeing like two wrestlers here. You know, I'm seeing like two wrestlers and there's no prize, but they're just battling, you know, it's like, it's, it's, it's really like you're dealing with things that you kind of put aside or didn't want to deal with. But because you have this hermit energy crowning you, you know, kind of dominating your overall feel about at least the 1st to 16th of August, you're tired of it. You know, I, I can, I can, now I, can, I get it. You're tired of 
being pulled in every which way, every direction, every conflict possible, every heartache, every drama possible. Even though the world is a positive card, I also see this as like a turn of events, like a quick motion of bullshit. It keeps happening and it may continue to happen, but the good thing is that you have your safety net up. And if you keep yourself still um, vulnerable in a good way, there can be, there's definitely going to be people or family members around you to give you some insight into how you can juggle all these things, okay? For some of you Taurus who just had a baby, you just got married, you just moved to a different state, a different country, a different continent, I'm getting, and you're, you're really in... Um, hopes of having good people around you overall you know you want good energy around you to flourish and be successful and I think that I, I actually I can say that will definitely come but because we just got out of and right now the current energy is a Leo new moon you are dealing with some hard-hitting energy Leo is fire okay you guys are earth so there's going to be a lot of things kind of demolishing the old, okay? Settling things in the past that were burdens to you. So this is kind of like the hibernation recreation month for you guys, okay? At least so far from the cards, from everything I'm getting, all the energy I'm getting, the 1st and 16th of August is all about, you know, a new spring in the step, you know, taking the time to kind of settle the score, you know, unload, repack up on the journey, and to embrace what is to come. Okay, Tauruses, that is a great reading for you guys. I think that you guys, actually, you guys will be very successful. Um, it, the success may not come easy, but it will come, okay? So please like and subscribe this video if it helped you. Um, all the extra social media links I have, all the extra um, descriptions and donation buttons and everything like that is going to be in my about tab. Um, I will definitely have sooner than later um, a booking system for personal readings. Keep in mind I am in college. If you didn't know that, I'm 21, 22 this year on October 23rd. I am Scorpio Sun. I am Cancer Rising and Libra Moon. So I'm always busy. I always have things going on, but I love these videos. I love doing them. It's one of my life purposes honest to god i would do it even past me graduating because i love it so please support me please like and subscribe below and look out for your money and career video guys um check out your rising sign and the gemini video as well if it's um if you feel led to please check it out okay thank you for watching take care bye bye until the next video see you